Hello, so in this video I'm going to talk about my tools that I use for liner cutting and um, I've got a selection here so on the left here I've got uh, the four tools that I most commonly use and then two here that I'd, I use quite a lot but uh, not as often as these ones. Um, these ones with a mushroom shaped handle are Swiss tools made by a company called File and um, they're the tools that I recommend to all my students if you're serious or even semi-serious about liner cut it's definitely worth investing in at least one or two of these to start with and you can always build your collection there um, the other tool here, this is a cheaper tool um, which is um, from a set of five. I'll put the links to all of these in the uh, description for the video. Um, so I'll talk you through these. So here we have uh, what I call small, medium and large U gouge and a large V gouge. And over here, uh, small V gouge and the one I call a, a big scoopy tool. Um, so the uh, the U gouges. I'm going to show you the large U gouge first. Um, this is a nine slash five tool. So number nine. Uh, that's good. And you can see the number nine there on the shaft of the tool is that refers to the shape of the tool the profile of the, the cutting tip and um, five is the distance across the cutting tip in millimeters that's a nine five uh, the small and medium u gouges that i use are both number 11 so that the number refers to the shape of the tool not the size so that's an 11 slash 1 and an 11 slash 3 and um, then this is a large V gouge let's see if I can get the focus right on there um, the small V is a Number 12, can't get that to focus anyway, that's a 12 slash 1, and this is a 7 slash 10, so that's 10 millimeters across the tip there. So the three U gouges I use um, for most of my straight lines and if I'm following an edge on a design. The small one millimeter U gouge is great for doing fine detail and if you want to cut um, corners and things like that. Um, so if you're doing anything geometrical like text or architectural stuff, these are great. Um, the three millimeter one I tend to use more now than the one millimeter because I'm working bigger. Um, and again, that's very nice for following an edge straight edge or line where you want accuracy the um, the sides of these tools can't get it to focus that the sides of these tools are very steep if you compare them to other brands um, they much have much steeper sides and that's that's much, makes it much easier for, for following an edge um, the large U gouge I use mainly for clearing out larger areas, but I do also on my bigger prints I use it for mark making. I'll do a separate video on um, using all these tools to make different marks. Um, the V gouge um, is great for more expressive marks, so it has a very wide range of marks that you can make. If you just use the tip of it you can do a very fine line. 
if you go deeper you get a wider line so you can also get a, a line that goes thicker and thinner so um, that's very nice for doing flowing lines and, and uh, tapered lines. The small V does the same as the large V but um, it's better, it's easier to see what you're doing if you're doing fine detailed stuff and the big wide scoopy tool is great again for clearing large areas very quickly because it's um, got a very shallow profile it's um, go to focus it's uh, it means when you clear a large area you don't get a lot of ridges you get a quite a smooth finish which is good if you want um, to print those areas uh, very clean you don't want any any extra bits coming out in those areas um, price wise the file tools aren't cheap they're uh, in the UK at the moment they're about 17 18 pounds um, you can buy them in a in there's four different sets you can buy a B C and D set C if you want to get a set of six tools set C is probably the most useful um, but I bought a set when I started out and there's one tool in the set that I've never used so it's uh, possibly a false economy like I say I recommend you start off with maybe a large and a small U gouge and build it up from there and and if you can find this large V gouge I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description like I said um, it's worth getting this set it's only about eight ten pounds for this set and then um, you get a nice V gouge in there and also a, a knife which I will do a separate video about cutting with a knife so that's it for for now I'll come back and I'll um, do another video showing how all these tools work what, the, what marks they make how to hold them and I'll do another video showing how to look after them and keep them sharp